I, it doesn't even I have can to tell be you, like, I, I got like dozens of them, but one I was thinking to tell you guys about because you would know. Yeah. Ozzy Osbourne. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Interviewed him a couple yeah. of times. Did you eat yeah. rat blood with him? And <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to understand this. Like, shit. you've all seen Ozzy now. We've right. seen him in the TV shows where he was messed up, right? right? When I interviewed him, nobody knew he was messed up. All you got back then in those days, like before everything now, we all know about each other, was the uh, what they gave you, what right. they gave you about the artist. So Ozzy was sold as you know this crazy guy that sang and Black Sabbath and all this stuff. But he, nobody really knew his personal life. But I interviewed him, and if you got three minutes, I'll tell you this whole thing, okay? Yeah, this, this yeah, is the yeah, no, Go okay. for it. Crazy man. So what happens is, um, I'm interviewing him at the Four Seasons Hotel in Toronto. It was the Four Seasons at Leslie and Eglinton. And then Sony Records was right beside it at the time. So he was on Sony with, Oz, with you know, Blizzard of Oz and all. And so, um, they say he's staying at the hotel. I come over there to interview him. I'm taken by a rep. I got like my, I got this puffed out hair, my leathers on and everything. And I take me poolside at this hotel with all these families and children. And they're all dressed in, you know, poolside you know, whites and everything. And I sit down with the, the label rep and she says, and her name was Misty. Oh, wow. You know, okay. No, she didn't fit the name, unfortunately. Uh, <laughs> you know, the name was good, but she was, you know. But we sit there, and she goes, okay, um, I got to tell you, Ozzy's just a little bit the way he is, right? You know, like, you got to kind of, because we had no idea. I mean, we only saw him on stage. We didn't see the behind the scenes, right? Yeah. So she shuffles off, and, and um, Sharon Osborne comes over. Now, Sharon was heavy then. She wasn't. Right. She didn't have her stomach. She was not thing. She's yeah. she's she really sexy. No, yeah. no, she ain't the milf like now. Back then, she was yeah. like. <laughs> she wasn't. But she was a really nice woman. She was. A she huge was. Woman. She was misty. She was misty. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. And so she comes and sits down, and she's asking me, you know, how are you and everything, and you know, she's telling me this whole thing, like, you know, Ozzy's a little off today. Mm -hmm. You know, be a little kind with him. He's a little off, right? Like, okay, so off. She goes, you know, and and the rep reps there, and then all of a sudden we see Ozzy coming in, and he's all dressed in black, and he's got ch gold chains all over him, you know, the gold crosses and all the rings, right, <laughs> all the way down his fingers, like those big lugs and, yeah, his, yeah. and really long fingernails, okay. and and he comes lugging out like this with a duffel bag, with like with a duffel bag, and lugging along. And he sits down, and I swear to God, he gets like, you know, he takes his hand out to get a coffee, and it's just like shaking, and <laughs> liquid's going everywhere, right? And he's like, introduces himself to me, and he goes, oh, I, I forgot something, and he, and he gets up and he shuffles off back in the hotel. We didn't see him for another ten minutes. He left his bag here. Finally, he comes out, sits down, and, and his face looks like, okay, my father had died a year earlier from cancer, and my dad's face was like white, and you could see the veins, you know, and they drain oh, out, and yeah. you're old and sick. Ozzy yeah. was like that. He looked like death warmed over. He looked like shit, okay? So he comes in, he's sitting down, and he's in, and, and we had, you know, and he's just talking the way, I'm asking the questions, he's answering, and he's coherent. And he's answering the questions fine. He's totally coherent, but he's shaking, right? And so halfway through the interview, he goes down in this duffel bag and he puts out pill bottle after pill bottle after pill bottle. And then he takes them and he opens them up and he dumps them all out, like per bottle. He dumps them all out. And as he's talking to me, answering the questions, he's taking his, his pinky finger, which has got this massive... Uh, you know, the uh, ring on, plus his nails, and the thing is like this, you know, way longer than this. And he's doing this with his, with his pills, right? Counting out the ones he needs, and putting them in his mouth, and taking them with his coffee, as he, you know, and then shoves the pills back in, and I'm just like, oh my God, there had to be like, you know, 12, 13 bottles of pills. It was insane. Like, and, and he just shook, 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 and he gets up, and uh, anyway, this moral of this whole thing is that I wrote this in Meat Magazine. It's a cover story. saying, right. yeah, And it was one of the biggest comment issues I ever had because nobody in the world, and at least in Canada that's reading this, knew that Ozzy was a mess. Oh, wow. He was trying to clean up. All these drugs were clean up drugs. Yeah, yeah, Vitamins, yeah. stuff to so keep him. He couldn't drink. A bunch of, he wasn't uh, drinking any. Okay. He, had to, he was being forced to stop drinking. And he was just, you know. And so now you've seen him on TV the way he is. But that was the very beginning. So I had, in essence, a scoop on 
Ozzy. The evolution to the Ozzy Osbourne Yeah, on that, and people read it and went, oh my god, and the response I got. And it wasn't email either, it was letters, because this was, <laughs> you know, old school. And, Stacks. Anyway, I, I told you too long a story. But no, no, man, that, that, that was awesome.